Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create the tiny planet effect. This is a pretty cool effect, and you might think it's very hard to do, but it's actually pretty simple. You just want to look for a few things in your photo. A generally clear sky, a pretty straight horizon, and a few objects that are going to stick out, like these buildings. Because in the end, the right end and the left end are going to meet and connect. So you want to make sure there's a pretty straight line there so that it will make the effect of a circle. So the first thing you want to do is go to image, image size and make sure you uncheck constrained proportions. And take whatever dimension is less than the other, for me it's the height, and make it the same as the other dimension. So the height and the width will be exactly the same. You just type it in and click OK and it should stretch your image out to a perfect square. Don't worry about the distortion because this whole effect is about distortion. Now that we have our perfect square, we want to go to Edit, Transform, at Flip Vertical. This way our sky is on the bottom and our objects are on the top. This works well so that we can go to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates, and select rectangular to polar and it wraps the sky around the image creating our tiny planet effect here but there's always going to be a few notes of distortion that I want to point out this line down the center is almost always going to happen unless you have the perfect photo and these rays of distortion around the edge are also always going to happen so there's a few things we can do to take care of those first I like to just crop out the edges. So we're going to crop as big of a square as we can out of this circle. Alright, and that gets rid of the noise distortion around the edge. And now there's a few things we can do to smooth out this line down the middle. We can grab our rectangular marquee tool and generally select this line all the way down to the middle. Right click and feather feather it about 5 or 10 pixels and then go to filter blur motion blur and with an angle of 0 you can just blur it about 10 to 20 pixels so that kind of blends it in together but it's still kind of noticeable so what I also like to do is just flip the image back over edit transform flip vertical again and that kind of puts it out of sight if you really want to get rid of it, you can crop out the top half of the photo at this point, or you can you can copy one side of the photo and flip it over to make a perfect symmetrical circle. But I think the tiny planet effect doesn't look as good when it's symmetrical. So I think this is a pretty good final result here. There's a little bit of distortion, but of course this whole effect is pretty cartoonish and it's going to be fake looking in the end. You can add whatever you want at this point. Use Photoshop, use your creative ideas. But there's the basis for the tiny planet effect. Go ahead and try this on a photo that you think would make a cool tiny planet and leave me a suggestion for a tutorial you want to see in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.